Welcome to the first section of the course. In this section, we will start learning the very basics of JavaScript language. So the things like variables, data types, operators, if well statement and more. So in this part, we will not yet start building beautiful user interfaces. We'll do that later, of course, but first we need to focus on the language fundamentals. So, and so this lecture is designed for you to learn these fundamentals and to give you an overview of the language before we actually dive deeper in the later sections. Okay, let's go start the journey right now. So let's now write our very first line of JavaScript code. For now, we do that in the browser developer tools. So just to get started as soon as possible. And then we'll switch to the code editor that we'll install in the next video. So make sure you open up the Google Chrome and then there are three ways in which we can open the Chrome or developer tools. Hit command option J in the keyboard, it's on Mac and then uh, and in Windows it's going to be control alt and J. Uh, this will just open up the console that we see here. Uh, all of these tabs here are the developer tools but we are just interested in the console. Uh, and the other way, another way of uh, opening the developer tool is by right clicking and selecting the inspect, uh, which will bring us to the elements tab. Uh, and then from here, from there, we can go to the console tab. And the third way, I'm showing you all of uh, all of them because I know different people will like to do it in the different ways. So the third way uh, is to come to the Chrome menu and uh, there we go to the view developer and the JavaScript console and so we are back to the JavaScript console I'm increasing a font a little bit by hitting command plus now uh, this developer console uh, allows us to write and test the JavaScript code so it's very useful during development for example to fix errors now we don't write a real application of course using the console but now to just to get started let's use the console because uh, it's a good and easy way to write some javascript code here so let's write a alert which is uh, which is so called javascript code function and then open up a parenthesis and without the space between alert and the parenthesis and then we write a so-called uh, string which is basically a text let's write hello world uh, then we write uh, the closing parenthesis then let's hit return or enter and you see that javascript gave us this pop-up window here uh, which has hello world just as we typed here in, in our string in our code great so that's your very first uh, line of javascript code right there so any code that we write here and then hit return will immediately get evaluated okay but uh, of course we can do a lot more so let's write some more javascript code which of course do not need to understand yet i just want you to show some stuff that i uh, that we can do we'll do we'll go into how everything works as we progress through this section okay just uh, experiment a little bit uh, so let's write uh, so called variable let say js equal to amazing and once uh, once more we are basically uh, writing a string here and so text and then we'll do uh, if js is equal to amazing then we want a alert uh, window like we saw before saying uh, 
JavaScript is fun. Close the parenthesis. Now I hit a return. We get this window which says JavaScript is fun. Okay. So again, I'll explain all these concepts and how all of this works here as we go through the section. But for now, I hope that you can see the logic that we basically defined JS as amazing. And then here in the next line, uh, we said that if JS is equal to amazing, then JavaScript should show, the, uh, show, show this alert window with this text. Okay, now uh, we can change of the js to boring so let js is equal to boring let's return i'll just copy this line and paste it here and hit return nothing happens and this is this time nothing happened because uh, JS is now no longer amazing. It is boring now. And so in this case, if JS is equal to amazing is not actually true, right? Um, so the alert window is not shown up because now the JavaScript, J now the JS is boring now. Now there is an uh, also another way of going back to the previous command uh, which by hitting the up arrow on the keyboard so like this so just like this and so we can see all the previous commands before great now another thing we can do uh, is to do some simple math operations let's say uh, 40 plus 8 plus 23 plus or minus 10 let's hit return and then here we get the result so basically we can use it as a calculator and i hope you can see how useful this is going to become uh, later down the road okay that's it for now uh, i hope that this gave you a nice first taste of the language and of everything that I had. So if you want, you can experiment a bit more with this. Uh, you can move on to the next lecture where we will learn what JavaScript actually is. See you there.